Das ist ein I consider this to be Rinpoche's presence here in all of the 23 years that I have been volunteering here and bringing people up to the prison who were special to meet with you all who are special. Um, I consider his presence one of the greatest honors. This is a man who was born in Tibet. And please correct me if I'm wrong on any information. And um, Tibet is on the other side of the world. 12,000 miles away, maybe, <laughs> the Tibetan Plateau. And the average altitude is 13,000 feet. And I think Lhasa, the capital, sits at 12,000. And I, had, I took notes last night. Um, Mount Everest is in Tibet. And Mount Everest is 29,028 feet. You can't climb it uh, from the Chinese side. You have to climb it uh, from the Nepalese side, as I understand. The Tibetan people are uh, the predominant original people on the Tibetan plateau. There are about six million Tibetans living on that plateau, and that plateau is just over one million square miles large. It's a huge, huge, huge place. And some of the most major rivers in the world that provide water to over, I think it's a hundred million people, uh, approximately, that flow down into India, into Southeast Asia, into Burma. Uh, and what has happened since 1959, when uh, 1949, when the Chinese invaded Tibet, saying it was theirs, uh, they have been raping the land. They have deforested most of, of the forests. They have uh, used it as a dumping ground for nuclear materials, and they have polluted the waters, and all those waters, and that's going to eventually seep down, move down. I could go on about the politics. That is a, a, a major story, obviously, unto itself. In 1959, when the Dalai Lama left Tibet, escaped, uh, uh, escaped and went to India, and thank goodness the Indian government took him in, uh, and all the politics around that. And the Tibetan government in exile is in northern India, in a place called Dhamsala. There are approximately uh, just over 100,000 Tibetan refugees outside of Tibet in the, in the world. Uh, the greatest number uh, is in Europe, about 80,000, as I understand it. Um, and particularly in Switzerland. And in America and in Canada, there are about 7,000 Tibetan refugees. The most important part for me in all of this is how the Tibetans have responded to the unbelievable brutality that has befallen them. The Dalai Lama, when he received the Nobel Peace Prize, basically what he said was, I am not angry at the Chinese. And you have to understand that the Chinese have made, and I continue on a daily basis, to destroy the Buddhist t culture in, in Tibet, destroying over 6,000 monasteries, destroying priceless works of art, and not allowing the Tibetans to their children in school, they have to learn Mandarin. Is it Mandarin? They have to learn Mandarin. So even their language is being taken away from them. The, the Dalai Lama 
has basically said, I am not angry at the Chinese. They are my greatest teachers. Drawing, and drawing compassion from his heart out to the Chinese for what they are doing to themselves by this rape that is occurring. When I first heard that talk, his talk, I thought, I have to find out who this man is. I've never heard anybody who has suffered the way he has suffered and his people have suffered. And Rinpoche being one of those people. And we may talk about that this morning. Um, they are a gift. The Tibetans are a gift to us, to the world. I consider His Holiness the Dalai Lama to be the major political force, and I mean political in a very positive sense, political force for peace on the planet because of what he represents. And Rinpoche, 